Well, since we're looking ahead to the fall, the ECHL also released its schedule for the 2021-2022 season on Tuesday. For the Fort Wayne Comets, it will begin on Saturday, October 23rd, with a home game against the Wheeling Nailers. Before then, though, while these two teams still have some unfinished business to settle this season, Case hosting Wheeling for a Wednesday evening affair inside the jungle. Tied at one when we picked this one up, second period, Wheeling on the power play taking advantage. Robbie Bay Dune loses track of the puck. Tim Doherty scores. It's 2-1 Nailers, but the Comets answer less than three minutes later. Alan Lasarchik came into the night on a five-game point streak and, and go ahead to make it six. Laser lights the lamp. This game tied at two after two. Stayed that way until midway through the third period. Anthony Nellis leaves it for Marco Wah, and Wah knows what to do with it. His sixth goal of the season gives Fort Wayne its first lead of the night, but that lead was short-lived. Just a few minutes later, Austin Fighten fights his way to the front of the net, tucks it home with the backhand, and we are all knotted at three apiece, and then just over two minutes to play. Comets give up a two-on-one. You're going to see Baydoon stop the first shot, but Cody Sylvester there with a wide open net on the rebound. Wheeling comes back to win this one, four to three. Uh, this one got ugly late. Kay's not happy with a hit on Anthony Petrozelli right there with just a couple seconds to go. A brawl break breaks out and uh, well, Ben Boudreaux, not a happy man afterwards either. Well, we uh, practice our D zone coverage, our net front coverage uh, specifically. Uh, all week after giving up four even strength goals uh, from the point and we got caught puck watching uh, for the second or third time in, in the game and it was way too easy for them to make a play in front of our goalie and um, in front of Robbie and then with two and a half minutes to go we got to play smart hockey we catch ourselves pinching two different guys on the strong side of the ice and they go right down for a two-on-one and then playing the two-on-one we don't take the man or the shot and Again, we, we leave Robbie out to dry. I mean, it was no uh, no fun for our goaltender to be in there. The team completely abandoned them defensively. And um, like I said before, we got what we deserve. Now, these two are going to match up for the final time here in the regular season this coming Friday in the jungle. Puck drop set for 8 o'clock at the Coliseum.